Hey everybody, this is Veronica Seban and from the YouTube channel about business coaching NLP, uh, coaching transformation and business development. So today I would like to uh, talk about emotional pain and forgiveness and why it's so important to, to forgive your loved ones or if you have had for example a, a conflict with a family member or with your partner and so you um, are still mad at this person and you cannot solve the conflict um, i um, advise you just to um, Keep in touch with this person and to discuss the, the problem and to, to tell to the person why um, are you not agree and uh, what has caused the, the problem, the conflict. So before you, you start to solve the problem, you have to, to take a look at, at what uh, what has um, caused the, this conflict. What is the reason that this uh, conflict appeared between you and the, the person that you, you got this conflict, yeah? And uh, just uh, be calm. That's uh, the rule number one, yeah? Uh, second uh, rule uh, number uh, two is to make a commitment with yourself. And third, uh, get ready to be flexible. You know, if you always want to get the last word, you will be never happy. Uh, because in all kind of relationships, it's not about um, uh, to, to, to having all the time the last word. Otherwise, if you will always uh, fighting uh, in this way to, to get the last word, in, in any case, in, in a relationship, so you, it will always uh, creating conflicts, yes, and frustration, not only for you, but but for the another person, for your conversator, or for your family member, or partner. Um, you know, when when uh, appears a conflict, it appears because you you are not agree with the with the another person and it means that you have to ask the person why is the person not agree with you and just try to solve the problem not to make it bigger and to complicate the situation why first of all it will cause to you frustrations um, and then when you are frustrated, you cannot keep uh, your focus on the right things and you are much less uh, productive, especially if you are an entrepreneur. Um, uh, it will cost you a lot of energy and um, you take the risk as well to to don't get the, the right results in your uh, company or even in your relationship. So just don't um, put at risk uh, a relationship because of your ego or just only because you, you want to get always the last uh, word, okay? Uh, and this example is only for such situations, yes, when there is a conflict. 
uh, another example that I would like to give you is uh, when someone has caused you pain that has humiliated uh, or or someone who, who couldn't value you because the person self was not happy. One thing what you you have to be aware of and to understand is that when the people are not able to value you is because the self are not happy with themselves or with their own life. And unfortunately, 80% uh, of the global people, they are not realizing this fact that when someone is devastating you and is demotivating you uh, or is not able to, uh, to value you, so it means that the person or the person does not um, the the quality to or the ability to to value you or uh, does not the 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 capability you know because um, we the human beings in generally um, we uh, have the automatic functionality in our, our behavior, yeah? And especially when we get emotionated, uh, and if, if you are uh, not capable to uh, control your emotions, it can lead to explosion, yeah, to a conflict. And when you are saying, um, everything what you even don't mean to say uh, even if you don't want to yes to cause pain to to the another person but unfortunately uh, often it happens and to overcome this kind of situation so it's important to take a step back but if the if this situation um, takes already years, many years, and is still not solved, and that you don't talk to each other, to a, a family member, uh, or to your partner, or to an ex or your child, I have a solution for you in this case. You know. Um, in the NLP uh, uh, techniques, we call this family system. Yes, especially when uh, um, it concerns um, a family member yeah, or your partner. Uh, because everything is, is uh, linked uh, to the uh, cultural background, traditions, um, education, um, mentality, and go so on. Yeah, and that that kind of aspects together in common. So we we call a family system. And to break out this family system, especially when uh, it concerns your parents, and to can forgive them, I have a very powerful tool. Um, before you start, this is um, a ritual that you need, you need to do. Um, just prepare. I'm going to show you firstly. If you have your own um, how can I call that a stone? Yes, from from uh, from your birth. I have this one, like this one, yeah. This kind of stones, they are very, very powerful. Um, they are absorbing the negative energy. 
yeah so now i'm gonna learn you how to to manage the the energy and how to to get out from there and to clean your your soul your mind from the negative energy and to forgive your loved ones uh, so it means that you have to prepare a stone like this yes um, because uh, my uh, my sign is leo so and my zodiacal uh, color is gold so it means that you have to um, acquire a stone uh, which is matching with with your birthday and your birth color yes and then afterwards after that you have acquired this stone prepare a candle so my candle is inside so you can see that just take a look yeah but i i put the candle inside in in a, a glass box it's very beautiful to see just to to protect the candle and and then i have another stones because so i'm i know how to manage the energy and how to eliminate that do you see this stone this is amethyst but this is the uh, natural uh, amethyst it's from the mountain yeah so i um i recommend you to acquire two or three stones yes which is matching with with your birthday so you have to uh, looking for if you are not yet acknowledged with these kind of things just you have to do some research and to discover it for yourself because it's important it's your life it's your energy your mental body and soul health and you have to care for uh, for yourself yeah and what i did so uh, this composition i put it so on a plate like this yeah do you see that i think that that you can see that yes okay now when you have prepared everything all the elements that you you need uh, to do this ritual and to, to clean first of all your own energy the negativity um, look for some uh, some music some quiet music that uh, will help you uh, to to clean the energy and to focus you on positivity uh, right now that i'm i'm um, talking to you i'm uh, gonna um, take a look for for some uh, for some uh, quiet music and then you will hear it on the background while i'm talking to you and i'm i'm gonna start uh or before i'm gonna start uh, the ritual i have a tablet here um okay so just give me one moment to to choice for for a beautiful quite uh soul music and i'm looking right now so i i will uh, show you so that you can can follow all the steps with me together yes just as you see so i'm doing like soul music here So, uh, quiet music. Yeah. 
Okay, so our music, our music is ready. You can just take a look on on YouTube for for such music. It's it's very easy to to find it. There is um, so enough music available on YouTube that you could use uh, to to clean so your your mind and your soul from the negative. End. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the first step is to to choose the uh, right music, so quite soul music, yes. And just concentrate and focus yourself uh, for 50 minutes on this music and at the same time look at the candle at the flame of the candle yeah as i showed you it before so here 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 is the the candle and the flame and just take a look for 50 minutes so um i recommend you to go in a room where no one can disturb you just to be with yourself and 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 focus focus your your mind on the fire on the flame and then breathe in like this. And then breathe out. Ten times. Again, together, let's do it together. In. And breathe out. And just move. So your head. Breathe in again. And breathe out. And don't forget to, to focus you on, on the flame of the fire. So you repeat the, the, the briefing up to 10 times. Yes, with the music together and the candle. After 50 minutes that you did this ritual, uh, prepare something very heavy. It could be a stone or or something also. Um, I recommend you to, to take a, a, a stone like this or heavier, too much times bigger than this one. And this stone, you have to compare with the pain that you feel inside of you. Because this pain um, is causing emotional blocks and you don't need the emotional blocks because if you get uh, the emotional blocks, you cannot move forward. You, you, your human uh, functionality then it's not balanced and then then you you are not productive as you usually have to be and when you you have um, a very heavy stone like like this one just put in a box yeah uh, to come do uh, this ritual uh, or technique because this is a, a technique a NLP technique combined with a ritual you need uh, one person more yes near you and then you have to repeat this with me together the the next sentences 
you have to stand up. I'm sitting now uh, here in my chair, but you have you have to stand up in your room with with a person with the music and the candle uh, in the middle. You can put the uh, the candle on the floor or yes, if you are in a room in the middle of the room and listen to to the music and when just ask the person to help you out to do you this favor and give uh, to this person the role of the person who caused you the emotional pain or someone who has offended you so in this case you give the role of the person who has offended you to, to the person who will help you out to uh, to do this um, uh, this ritual and technique. Uh, once you you have done this, you um, you take the box with the stones. It could be uh, many stones, uh, not only one or two. You you could put in in a box. Uh, as well four or five it depends on how heavy is your pain yes and so heavy must 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 be so the weight uh, of of the stones and then then take the box so on on your hands and stand up and you have to stay in front of of the person who is gonna help you to carry out uh, this um, this ritual. I repeat these words. If that's, for example, your partner, just say to this uh, to this person, all the pain that you caused to me and all the offenses that you you you. Uh, created to me are not mine, they are yours. And I'm asking you to receive them back. So I give you everything back, everything what you have done to me, everything that you caused to me, I'm giving you back. Just pay um, close attention because this uh, moment is very, very important. This is the moment of the elimination of, of the negative energy from your mind, from your soul and the body. Because when you, if you have these uh, emotional blocks for many years, now is the moment to liberate yourself from this pain and from these blocks. And just hold like this on your, on, your, on your hands, on your palms, and say with me, this is not mine, this is yours. And because of that, I'm giving it to you back. So, and then ask them to forgive you. Forgive me, please, if, if I'm wrong. But everything what you have done to me, if you have offended me, or if you have um, undervalued me, I give to you. This is not mine. I repeat these sentences three times. After that you have uh, said these sentences, you have to to say that very hard, very loudly, yes? And if you want to screaming to, to let go out the pain, do that, please. I recommend to do that. So much pain as you feel, so much you can screaming, yes? And to let go out the pain from your soul, from your body and from your mind. You can you can spring as well out so on on your legs and and to say yes I'm free yes I'm free yes I'm free ten times 
So you have to repeat this 10 times, 10 times. I'm free, 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 I'm free. After that, you have gave back um, the, the emotional pain, pain back to the person who, who has caused to you the, the pain and the, the blocks. Uh, after that you have done this, just uh, go and wash your hands. Yes. When you come back, um, come back to, to the music and the candle and, and live there for another 10 minutes. And focus you again on the flame. Of, of the fire of the candle and say these words. So it's, I'm clean, I'm clean, I'm clean. I want to grow, I want to move forward and I'm gonna do it. Repeat this for nine times, yeah? And during these 10 minutes, just keep your focus on the flame of the candle. And do this, please, because this ritual is very, very powerful. You know, um, uh, I have experienced a very, very bad situation in my life during my marriage and in my childhood as well. Uh, I was moving forward with this old pain inside of me, even without knowing why I, I knew, but I didn't know how to handle, to liberate myself from this uh, terrible pain, because it was truly terrible. Sometimes this pain was blocking me in my communication. And at that time, I didn't know what was the reason that it that it was blocking me. Maybe have a war suddenly was changing, and I didn't know why. Like it, it like it was like a failure that I was feeling so in this uh, um, painful routine and so I couldn't get there out and I did it for truly many many years and this ritual uh, has liberated me from from this uh, catastrophe catastrophical routine, why I'm saying catastrophical, because um, it has blocked my success. It's ha it has blocked the truly, uh, my truly way to be as I truly are, because I'm a very positive person. I'm a truly radiating person, but because I'm born a balanced person, uh, so, in, in many years ago, my husband has uh, offended me, incredible, humiliated me, devastating me, and undervalued. And because of that, he was a narcissist. And because of that, so uh, I got all these mental and emotional blocks. And this, remember this. All this pain could cause you a lot of illnesses in your body. If you feel muscle pain, so just get aware of the fact that this is because of your focus on the negativity, because the, all this is negative and that's not healthy for your body, not for your mind, not for your soul because all the time so you go through life through your life with this pain with these negative thoughts and these negative thoughts are affecting your behavior your communication 
the happiness in your relationships or in your business as well. So don't undervalue, please, this ritual. If you take it seriously, if you take it seriously, it will open another world to you. If you cannot get out from there, just keep in touch with me. So you can uh, comment in the, uh, below on the chat or just subscribe to, to my channel and, and keep in touch with me and I'm gonna help you. We can um, uh, book a Zoom video call and together so we will figure it out because I had a coach who has helped me and with, without the coach, I think that I never uh, um, never could figure it out to liberate me uh, from from this terrible block uh, and in my case it was not only one block but there were many believe me and so uh, don't forget to like this video to share and to subscribe Thank you for watching and for your time. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental, soul, and body health. Love yourself because you are the most important in your life. And then your family members. If you will not take care of yourself, no one will be able to do that. Just love yourself. Take enough time to be with yourself, to listen to your inner, to your inner power, to your desires. And don't, un don't undervalue your dreams, your wishes, because everything what you wish from the depth of your inner, of your soul, that's your truly way to be. So just go for it and realize it. I, I want to, to thank you again. And I see you soon. Bye.